Are you thinking about starting a career in cybersecurity? Guess what? Not too long ago, I was in your shoes and I remember it like it was yesterday. Looking back at my journey, there are absolutely things that would have been beneficial to know instead of learning them over time. In this video, we're gonna talk about three things that I wish I knew before getting into cybersecurity. So if you don't know already, I've been in the cybersecurity career field for quite some time now. In that time, I've held positions like analyst, engineer, architect, consultant, and manager, so I certainly have seen a thing or two. Like some of you out there, I didn't come from an IT or a tech background. Instead, I switched to cybersecurity from a career in sales. I think that if you're already working in IT, you might have already learned some of these things, but maybe not, because cybersecurity is a unique career field when you compare it to IT. As we go through these different items, I want you to think about a few questions. Number one, did you know these going into cybersecurity? Number two, are there different ones that you can think of? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and let's discuss it. Okay, let's get into the list. Compensation expectations is the first thing that I wish I knew about. Everybody trying to get into cybersecurity basically falls into one of two categories. The first category is that you're switching from IT or another tech career field. The second is that this is gonna be your first real job or your first full-time job. Now there's nothing wrong with either of these, but you'll certainly have a different perspective depending on which category that you belong to. So if you're switching from IT or another career field, you're already gonna have a decent general understanding of compensation in a tech career field. The closer the career field, such as IT, the more relatable the compensation expectations that you'll have. Why is that though? It's because IT and cybersecurity are compensated fairly similarly, although overall information technology jobs tend to be compensated slightly lower than cybersecurity. The reason for this is because cybersecurity is considered a more specialized area and security is a bit more of a hot topic with business leaders right now. On the flip side, if this is your first real job or your first full-time job, compensation is gonna be a new area to you that you need to become educated about because it's gonna impact your entire career. This category of professionals is the one that's most likely to run into issues by generally overestimating their worth. I can't even count the number of times that I've heard beginners say they wanna make six figures or multiple six figures in their first job. I'm gonna dispel this myth right now because there's people out there that are still pushing this incorrect narrative. Typically, one of the only ways that you're gonna get six figures in your first job is most commonly by living in a high cost of living area or less commonly if you've already made significant contributions to the career field. Multiple six figures for your first job is completely out of the question and I've never seen it happen, at least on the salary side. We're not gonna talk about equity here because although that technically counts towards compensation, it's a different discussion about what that means and actually computes out to, but you'd still have to fit into one of those situations that I mentioned. Most people getting into cybersecurity, at least in the United States, are gonna fall between the range of $60,000 and $100,000 per year. That's where I live, so that's what I'm most familiar with. Now I've heard that other countries aren't as generous, so you may have to do a little more research if you don't live in the United States. Websites like Glassdoor can help you quite a bit with identifying a general ballpark of what you might get paid. And we've seen a lot of companies start to list salary ranges in job postings, at least in the United States, and that can be extremely helpful. If you're told a salary range, most companies shoot for around the midpoint of that range. So if you had a range of $50,000 to $100,000, that's most likely gonna pay somewhere in the ballpark of $70,000 to $75,000. Knowing these numbers is really important because that can also help you if you send a counteroffer. You might not get your counteroffer amount, but at least you won't ask for something unrealistic and actually annoy the hiring team. The second thing I wish I knew is what it takes to get into cybersecurity and the path I need to take in order to get there. Now, personally, I've always been an overachiever, so I try to go above and beyond with anything that I do. For that reason, I wouldn't necessarily say not knowing this hurt me, but it would have helped me understand that what I was doing wasn't too much effort. People always ask me about the best path to get into cybersecurity, and I absolutely have videos about this and my free ebook has a roadmap of skills and certifications to pursue. What people don't often understand though is that the path and recommendations are just the start of your journey and it's rarely enough to make you competitive in today's job market. Although I get the idea of wanting a very structured path because I've been in that situation too, but cybersecurity isn't always a structured career field and we sometimes have twists and turns that lead us to our final destination. 
all that training that I create and advice that I provide, I always try to provide the most structure possible because there's plenty of confusing and frankly terrible advice out there that can lead people down the wrong path. That said, as you get further into your career, we need to strategize a plan tailored to your specific situation for the best results, which is the reason why I offer coaching to professionals all the way from beginners to seasoned professionals. Now, I'm certainly not saying that you have to sign up for coaching with me, but the key point here is that you can't just rely on much of the general advice that's available for your entire career, as eventually you're gonna reach a dead end. Additionally, to be successful in this career field, you have to do the things that make you stand out from other candidates. Do you wanna know a secret? There's plenty of lazy people that are trying to get into the career field and that are making things harder for you. And that could be lazy in the sense that they're just following the cookie cutter advice out there or lazy in the traditional sense, but that makes it more difficult for you to stand out by doing the same things. Look for the opportunities that take a little extra work. It'll help you out tremendously. Two great examples are going to meetup events or networking on LinkedIn. Certainly these two examples take some time to actually do, but so many people aren't willing to do them, so more often than not, they're gonna miss out on the best opportunities. I'm telling you, I've seen this a million times. The people that are willing to put in the extra effort are the ones that are gonna reach their maximum potential by getting the best jobs and the best compensation. If you're getting value out of this video so far, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure to check the description for more resources related to this video. All right, let's get back to the content. The third thing I wish I knew before getting into cybersecurity is you don't need to know everything. I feel like this one is more of something that we make assumptions about early in our careers, but certainly some employers don't help eliminating this way of thinking. I remember back to when I was first trying to get into cybersecurity, and I made a roadmap of probably 15 different certifications that I wanted to achieve. I want to get certifications from Microsoft, Cisco, CompTIA, ISC Square, ISACA, EC Council, and really just about anything that I could find had a place in my roadmap. Do you think this is realistic? Of course not, because not only would that take a significant amount of time and energy, much of it would end up not being relevant if my career took a turn one way or another. I specifically remember thinking about one or maybe even two CCIEs, which is Cisco's highest level certification, and I found out that people often take a year or more to go from the CCMP to the CCIE. So that meant that two CCIEs was gonna take several years to get. Employers don't help the problem when they put out job postings that list everything under the sun. But there are some more reasonable employers out there too. Once I actually joined the workforce in cybersecurity, I quickly realized that people have areas where they specialize both based on their jobs and areas of interest, but they certainly didn't specialize on everything. It's absolutely true that early on in your career, you should be trying to build a solid foundation that's broad with some knowledge across many different areas. But as you get further into your career, you'll start to narrow down where you focus and only target one or maybe a couple of related areas. For example, you might be interested in penetration testing, so then you focus on web apps and IoT. That's just one example, but most people aren't going to be a generalist for their entire career for many reasons that we aren't gonna dive into for this video. In fact, my recommendation to you is once you start going in your career, really pay attention to the areas that you enjoy and that you're good at, because ideally, that's where you wanna start working towards to become a subject matter expert or a SME. Keep in mind that the choice that you make should shape the jobs and training that you pursue, but you can also still add some cross-training options from other areas into the mix. Now I'd love to hear about the areas that you're interested in and why those are appealing to you in the comment section. Question of the day, did any of these hit home for you? Did I miss some? Let me know down in the comment section below. In this video, we talked about three things that I wish I knew before going into cybersecurity. One of my favorite things to do is pass on the knowledge and the lessons that I've learned throughout my career so that you don't have to go through those same pains throughout your career. I hope you'll take this knowledge and accelerate your career progression. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the description for more resources related to this video, and I'll see you next time. Are you tired of overpaying for cybersecurity training? Are you interested in training from industry professionals? Are you looking for cybersecurity career services? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then CyberTrainingPro.com is the perfect platform for you. At CyberTrainingPro, we're a one-stop shop for all your cybersecurity needs. We can train you for industry certifications or just improve your overall knowledge and skills in a certain area. Unlike other platforms, we don't stop there. We can also coach you throughout your career, practice your interview skills, or create a high-performing resume with our career services. CyberTrainingPro.com isn't just another training platform. Students get exclusive access to our private community, 
where we go beyond training courses to provide additional content, tips and tricks, and engagement with both other students and staff. Look, by the year 2025, there could be as many as 3.5 million job openings in cybersecurity. With so much opportunity, why not maximize your career potential with a platform that cares about your success? Come join us at cybertrainingpro.com and start building your future today.